Hello, hello and welcome, welcome back to Space Engineers on the Xbox, on the Series X, for a very interesting video thanks to a community member on my Discord, for the official um, Discord of the Facebook, Xbox and PlayStation console Space Engineers group that I've uh, run for a few years now that I took over thanks to uh, some great admins who uh, just asked me if I'd like to do it. And I went, yeah, okay, I'll do it. Anyway, thanks to Pistol Play on this one. I'll leave a link to their channel in the description of this video. And what are we talking about? We are talking about a very interesting thing that they've discovered, which is how to remotely control a grid from another grid. And the key to this is to use a beacon and um, like I said I will leave a link to pistols uh, little video on it but I wanted to do a video to explain how this works and how to set it up so you can play around with it yourself and maybe like Paul Thompson discover some interesting um, applications beyond what I would use it for which is to remotely control a door on my base so that I'm not having to get out and open and close doors in a hangar. So let's craft up a little landing platform for my little ship to land on. And I'm playing, as always, in creative mode because that's how I like to do it. Unfortunately, at the moment, it seems as well that the Xbox uh, streaming on the Cloud Play is being a bit temperamental, so you might see some slight artifacting on the video, and that's nothing I can um, control. It's just the way it is. So I'm going to try and minimise it by not moving around as much and causing a screen refresh on the software. Uh, but hopefully they'll sort that out. It's always the same when there's been a, a Windows update or something. But as long as the audio comes through and it's not pixelated to um, high hell and back, we should be alright. So we're going to need a battery on this grid. And let's get this in the right place when you click it. Trying not to sneeze as well because I suffer from hay fever. So that's always good fun when you're trying to do videos like this. We have a battery. We're going to need another thing here. We're going to need an antenna. And we'll pop it there. And of course, we're going to need somewhere for the ship to land and connect. So we're going to throw on connector so antenna connector battery and then we're going to need to just take this grid over here a bit like so and for this we're going to use the hangar door find that in your comms and hangers And there it is. So we've got the hangar door and we've got that. We're going to need a couple of things extra to play around with this. For a start, we're going to need the magic of an event controller block. And you can find those in your advanced systems ignore the programmable block for now although we are going to use one but not in the way you might think so we're going to pop an event controller here and that after a quick save is what we need on this grid side to set up this little experiment and here is our ship that we're going to use for our other part of the experiment so on this ship we're going to pop a beacon because Pistol discovered that beacons have 
a very important function. Now, we're also going to use a programmable block, but we're not going to use the programmable block in the way, as I said, you might think we're going to use it. We're actually going to use our friend here as a switch. That is a fake block, a block we want to use as part of this system. So, let's get this ship down over our connector because at first we want to lock this and so we've got it locked and now we want to look at a few things we want to set up our connector or rather our event controller and we're looking on the event controller to an event that is block on off switched and then what we need to do is we're looking for our programmable block in that list and then we want to add this block to our on off switched that's part one and then we want to select the actions on the block and this time when our block is on we want our gate to open and when it's off we want our gate to close all right we're almost there so you to our d-pad hold up on the d-pad and choose your programmable block and we want to toggle block on off so when the block is on the door opens and when the block is off the door shuts so now we just unlock from the base move our little scout around and because we're using the beacon we have remote control over the grid so we pull away further and further we have complete control over the grid and pistol discovered that this happens at any distance because beacons have a nigh on infinite range you can just about see the doors open and the doors close and this is brilliant if you want automated base doors or rather base doors without the use of a sensor because you don't have to worry about getting out of the ship or triggering a sensor being in the right place you can just tootle towards your custom built base doors trigger them from the ship fly through and close them behind you and that really is all there is to setting this system up it is incredibly simple to do and I'm sure there are other applications for this whole thing and as I said I'll link pistols um, channel down in the description of this video credit where credit is due this is where I first saw it they were kind enough to post this on the discord for the uh, space engineers console group and uh, yeah I'm really interested in playing around with this further to see what else it can do and I'm pretty sure there will be other people who watch this or who watch pistols video and who basically take this to the next level I've only used it to make a remote control door but any block that can be turned on and off on your grid 
can be used to trigger another grid. So you have two grids separated by distance communicating with each other and uh, the possibilities as they say are pretty much endless and that's really all I wanted to do. I just wanted to draw your attention to this one. Thank Pistol again and uh, yeah I will catch you in the next video for Space Engineers No Man's Sky and of course when it comes out on September the 1st I will be doing some videos on Starfield. Until then though, stay safe, take care, have fun, enjoy the game, happy engineering, bye for now.